Hi everyone, welcome to your mobility class. We're gonna focus on the hips today. We'll also be showing the glutes some love. And this is sort of a flow style class. So we will be moving from one mobility drill into the next building short sequences. This is a great class for really everyone. We could all use some mobility work, um, but especially if maybe you've been sitting for long periods of time lately, you're just feeling tight through the hips. You could also use this video as sort of a long warm up in preparation for some lower body strength training work or even a long run or a long bike ride. For the most part, we will be moving continuously, but we will finish with some stillness and some static stretching. If you are using this as a long warm up, then just skip the static stretching at the end. And if you love this class, here's your sales pitch. You can get access to more by becoming a Patreon member. All the information you need is at patreon.com slash Nicole Pierce. And now with all that said, let's get into this. So I want you to start seated and I want you to bring your feet about as wide as your mat and you're going to lean back. So the hands are just going to come behind you open through the chest and let's just start windshield wipering our knees side to side. So we just want to invite some movement into the hip joint, but don't overthink it at first. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add in a little twist with it. So as your knees come over to the left, I want you to take your right hand and I want you to reach it up overhead, twisting, opening your chest over to that left side. Come through center, same thing over to the right. So knees come to the right, your left hand reaches up, twist it open. Keep going side to side. Let's do one more each side. And we're gonna come through center. Now from here, I want you to take your hands off of the mat. So I want you to sit upright a little more and we're gonna kind of do the same thing with our knees, but without the assistance of our hands. So I want you to drop both knees over to the right. You can twist your torso over to the right as well come through center, and then you're gonna drop them over to the left, adding in that little twist. Now, it may be a little too early for this one, okay? Your hip joint might feel a little too stiff to do it. If that is the case, go back to the previous uh, version of this, where we had our hands down on the mat for support. Just a couple more like this, and then we're going to start isolating one side, and we're going to challenge our glutes as we do it. Let's go one more either direction. You'll notice I'm traveling up my mat as I do this. All right, come through center. Now we're going to find a 90-90 position or sort of a mermaid variation. So you're going to take your right shin in front of you and let's kick the left leg back. Actually, let me turn towards you. Okay, so you want to bring your right shin in front and we're going to bring the left shin behind us. Reach your arms side to side and then on an exhale, I want you to twist over to the right and you're going to bring your hands down on the mat. Now staying really active through our core, pushing that mat away, we're gonna find internal rotation through this back leg. So I want you to reach the thigh bone long, keeping the knee down on the mat. On an exhale, you're gonna pick the foot up, finding internal rotation. Now we're thinking of lifting the foot up, but the movement's not originating with the foot. Really think about where that rotation is coming from, right in that hip joint. So contract through the glutes, to move that leg. Three more. Last time. And now bring that leg parallel to the ground. Now think of creating length, really reach that knee back. And now we're going to lift the whole leg up and down. Exhale, lifts off the mat and lowers, keeping it parallel. So don't think of getting it up as high as possible. Really think reach long. So you'll notice my leg is only coming an inch or so off the mat. So mobility is all about being able to control the range of motion. So don't force it up too high, okay? Only as high as you can go, maintaining the connection with your core. Now coming up, we did internal rotation. We're gonna find external rotation. So next time you lift your leg up to a hover, hold that shallow hover. Now from here, squeezing through the seat, you're gonna find external rotation. So you bring that back left foot towards the floor and then back to parallel. It stays hovering. So this is really hard. 
Now again, just like we were talking about with internal rotation, yes, it's the knee that is peeling open, but the movement does not originate with the knee, okay? The glutes are creating the movement. It's a rotation within that hip joint. Doesn't have to be big. Parallel, foot to the floor as you externally rotate. Give me four more. Last time. Now hold that parallel hover, and I want you to swing the knee forward, hip flexion, and then swing it back, hip extension. So that leg is parallel, but hovering. Open up through the front of the hip, flex. Now we're gonna keep this swing motion going. It's gonna be a little funky. You may need to look to me for the first time. As we swing it forward, we're gonna to come to seated and we're gonna rotate this back left leg. So I want you to swing the leg back, pause. Now as you start to swing it forward, you are going to come upright and I want you to rotate, almost like you're coming to a cross-legged position, bring that right hand to tap your left foot and then reverse it. You rotate and you're gonna swing it back, both hands to the mat. Once you have the motion, make it a little smoother. Don't rush it. We're gonna do three more. Last time, swing it back and place that leg down to the mat. All right, all we're gonna do is switch that over to the other side, same sequence. So you're going to flip the cross. Now your left leg comes in front, you can mirror me, and your right leg goes behind you. So we kind of have these opposing triangles or opposing 90 degree angles. Arms reach to the sides. On an exhale, you're going to twist over to the left and your hands come down to the mat, holding in that twist. We're gonna start with our internal rotation. So reach this back thigh long, keep the knee down on the mat, and on an exhale, foot lifts up and lowers. Think where the movement is originating from, focusing on that hip joint. Glutes are help moving it, are helping to move it. There we go. Four more. Last time, lower the foot. Now keeping that leg parallel, you're gonna reach so long through the thigh as you lift and lower, it's small. Whew. A lot harder for me on this side. Totally normal to notice differences between the sides. It's just feedback, don't get frustrated with it. Make sure you're still really pressing the mat away staying connected to your abdominals. So you don't want to counter the lift of the leg by a sinking in and a collapsing of the upper body. Now we have that external rotation coming up next. You're gonna hold the leg at a hover. So next time up, hold that hover. Now, as you exhale, squeeze through the glutes, rotate open so your right foot comes to tap the floor and then bring it back to that parallel hover. Really think about where the movement is coming from. So think of contracting your glutes on that back right side to hinge open through that hip. Yes, the knee is lifting, but don't think of just pulling the knee. Really think of getting the glutes to fire, which can be easier said than done. Give me four more. Last time, now hold that parallel hover. Swing the knee forward and swing it back. Hip flexion, hip extension, you got it. Now 
Now we're going to build off of this sort of swinging motion, this hinging open and close. Sorry, I'm just hitting my couch. We'll come to seated, bringing our hands off of the floor and we'll rotate this back leg, flipping it. So next time you go into hip extension and you swing that leg back, pause. Now, as it swings forward, you're going to come to seated. You're going to flip. So now that inside ankle bone points up towards the ceiling, opposite hand towards opposite ankle, rotate and swing it back around. Keep that going. Three more times. Last time. And place that back knee down. All right, up next, we're gonna come into some tabletop work. So knees and hands, if you want some padding for your knees, feel free to fold the mat over or get yourself a blanket. And we'll once again, we'll start on the left side. So keeping your left knee bent, I want you to find a donkey kick position and I want you to just flex through the foot. Now keeping the thigh lifted, we're just gonna do sort of a windshield wiper motion, finding internal to external rotation. So the foot goes out to one side and then across. Keeping that thigh lifted. Now, next time you go internal, so that foot is kind of out to the left, I want you to hold the internal rotation. Maintaining the internal rotation, you're going to drop the left leg so the knee comes to the back of the calf, and then you're going to lift back up. When you lifted, make sure that thigh is still internally rotated. Lower, exhale, lift. As you lift, make sure that the movement isn't causing your low back to sink to the mat. So we're using our breath and the driving force here are your glutes. So contract through the seat, not sinking into that low back. Three more. Last time, hold at the top. Now from here, I want you to windshield wiper to the other side. So now you find external rotation, same thing. It's almost like your ankles cross as you lower. Exhale, lift up. Now it's external rotation without lifting that left hip bone up towards the ceiling. So you're not opening up through the pelvis. You're really trying to keep the pelvis as square to the floor as possible, which is easier said than done, I know. Three more. Last time, and I want, to, I want you to square off and lower that knee. So we're gonna come into a fire hydrant and we'll turn it into a combo, but to start, it's just that hydrant. So I want you to lift that left knee up to the left and lower it down. Open it and close. Now the combo coming up, and don't worry, we're almost gonna be off of our wrists. The combo coming up is we're gonna hydrant, we're gonna kick the leg straight, and we're gonna sweep it back behind us. So next time you hydrant up, I want you to pause. Straighten that leg out to the side. Keeping the leg straight, I want you to sweep it back and rotate so now the top of your thigh points towards the mat. As you abduct it to the side, you're gonna rotate through the thigh slightly, bring it out to the side, bend the knee, lower it back down again. We hydrant, we extend through the leg, straight leg sweeps back. Don't worry so much about how high that leg is when it's out to the side. My foot is only a couple inches off the floor. This one's really hard for me. One more time. And this time, I want you to hydrant open, straighten the leg, and just hold that leg straight, and it's a little lift and lower. You got it, not here for long. We're gonna plant that left foot down to the floor, out to the side, in three, pulse for two, 
and one. Now plant that foot down to the side. I'm just going to turn to face you so that you can see me better. So from here, I want you to take your right shin and I want you to pivot it inward so it's at an angle. So the right foot is kind of pointing towards the left. In this position, we're going to rock forward and back. As you start to rock back, bend the elbows, forearms come down to the floor, and then you come back forward into that tabletop position. Reach those hips back and forward. And don't worry if you can't get all the way down to your elbows. I'm like cousin it here with my crazy Jojo Siwa ponytail. <laughs> If you don't know who Jojo Siwa is, then congratulations. I dream of Jeannie. I guess that'd be a better reference. <laughs> One more time. Now from here, I don't want the shin to be pivoted anymore. So just bring your right shin back parallel and we're going to come up to a kneeling position. And again, if you want to fold your mat over for a little extra padding for this right knee, go for it. All right, so we have a little combo here. Hands can come to your hips. I want you to take this left leg and I want you to rotate it open, toes up towards the ceiling. And then we're going to lunge to the side so you bend into that left knee, flattening the foot. And just reverse it. Rotate, close the foot down to the mat. Open up, lunge to the left. Bring it up, toes to the ceiling, and close it. So this is where we finish on this side. We're gonna repeat that whole thing on the right, and then we'll come into some static stretching to finish up. Two more. Last time. And done. All right, we're gonna come into our tabletop, do that whole thing on the other side, knee padding if you need. And if your wrists start to bother you, you can always do part of this tabletop work down on your forearms and then just come to straight arms when you're ready, okay? Spread out through those fingers. So let's start by finding that donkey kick position. So the right foot is flexed, knee is bent, and just lifted up to about hip height. Let's start by windshield wipering. So that right heel goes out to the right and then across to the left. Internal to external rotation within the hip joint. Constantly coming back to that idea of where is this movement really originating from? The hip, okay? The foot moves as a result of it. So don't think of initiating the movement by swinging your heel side to side. Ooh, I got a little clicky feeling going on in this hip. Again, there's a great value in just noticing things. How does your body feel doing certain things? It's all feedback. All right, next time you rotate, or next time you find internal rotation, so the right foot is kind of out to the right, I want you to hold that internal rotation. We're gonna drop and lift the leg. So the knee is kind of coming to your left calf, and then you're firing through the glutes to lift back up, trying to maintain that internal rotation. So it feels a little funky. Maintaining a neutral spine as you do this. Three more. Last time, hold at the top. Now you're going to swish that heel over to the other side so you find external rotation. So now as you lower and lift, it's kind of like your ankles are crossing each other. Lift it back up. Pelvis is staying pretty square to the floor though. So that rotation is the femur bone within the hip joint. Squeeze to the glutes, lower. Contract the seat, don't sink into the low back. Three more. Last time, lower the knee, square it off. So we're gonna come into our hydrants to start. It's just that straight hydrant. So you're gonna take your right knee and you're gonna open it up to the right and close it down. We'll come into that combo. Up next will be the hydrant. We'll straighten the leg, we'll sweep it back. 
Now, as you hydrant open, make sure you're not leaning and countering over to the left, okay? So your left hip is staying pretty much right over that left knee the whole time. So even though we're focusing on mobility through this right hip joint, through the left side, we're focusing on stabilizing. So it is still working. Let's take it to our combo. So you're gonna hydrant open. You're gonna kick the leg straight. You're gonna sweep it back as you do the thigh rotate so that the top of it points towards the floor. Sweep it back to the side, invite that rotation in. Bend through the knee and lower. Now, if this move feels near impossible, then you can take your hands and you can walk them an inch or two over to the left, okay? And that can help. Last full one. Now this time you're gonna hydrate open, you're gonna straighten that leg, and you're gonna pulse it up and down for me, even if it's tiny. It's okay if the toes tap the floor, you got it. Five more. Four, foot plants in three, two, one, plant that right foot down, and I'm just gonna to turn to face the side. So your right leg is long, toes point forward, and I want you to take this left shin, and I want you to pivot it inward so the foot points towards that right side. So in this kind of weird tabletop position, you're gonna to start to rock back. As you do bend the elbows, you can come to your forearms. And then bring it back up. And don't worry if those elbows don't come all the way down, okay? Two more. Last time. Bring that left shin back to parallel, and then I want you to come up into a kneeling position. So we're gonna come into that little lunge combo option to pad this left knee. Hands can come towards your hips. So toes point forward to start. We're gonna pick them off the mat, rotating toes up to the ceiling. And you're gonna flatten the foot, bend into that right knee as you lunge over to the right, and then just reverse it. So after this, we will finish with a few static stretches. It's nice to end in stillness, but if you were using this as maybe a long warm up before you do some additional strength training or cardio or whatever it may be, then you're gonna finish here. You're gonna skip the static stretches. I typically don't recommend static stretches before a workout. Twice more. Last time. And then to finish up, let's come and lay down on our backs. Uh, let's start with a figure four cross. So you're going to take your left ankle, cross it over the right thigh, hands around that right thigh and hug everything in towards your chest. Now, maintaining the figure four cross, I just want you to plant that right foot down on the mat, and we're gonna drop the whole shape over to the right until that left foot comes to plant on the floor. So you should feel this nice outer hip stretch. If you don't feel anything, you might need to hop the whole shape up a little closer to your shoulders. If it's a little too intense, hop the whole shape down towards the end of your mat a little bit. And you can have your arms outstretched, bent in goal posts, whatever works for you. Couple deep breaths here. You're ready we're going to bring things things through center and we're just going to switch the cross so figure four other side right ankle crosses over left thigh hands wrap around the left thigh hug everything in towards your chest few deep breaths here
When you're ready, that left foot is going to plant on the mat, but keep the figure four across. And then we're gonna drop the whole shape over to the left until that right foot plants on the floor. Ooh, outer hip stretch. Adjust up or down as needed. And then just breathe. When you're ready and there's no rush, you'll bring th things through center. And we'll just finish up with a happy baby. So you'll bend the knees in towards your armpits, hands grab the outside edges of your feet and just give a gentle tug down. Might feel good to gently rock side to side. And when you're ready, let's reach the legs long, the arms long overhead. One deep breath in, exhale, release. And that is your class. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did enjoy it, you can get access to more mobility classes and other workouts by becoming a Patreon member. Also for Patreon members, I put together a monthly workout calendar every month. So that's helpful if you're someone who likes a little guidance planning week to week. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That helps YouTube show my videos to more people. So it seems like a little thing, but it makes such a big difference for me in growing my channel. So it's very appreciated. So thumbs up. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos here every Monday, sometimes more frequently. I appreciate all your support and I will see you guys here next week. Mm -hmm.